There's some other things that Jesus said, and he said these things to his disciples uh, the very week that he was to be crucified. Uh, we refer to this as Jesus' Olivet Discourse. And I want us to pick up in verse 36. We're going to read some things very similar to what he said to the disciples earlier. In Matthew 24, 36, Jesus says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Uh, Jesus says again, they were eating and drinking, marrying and, and giving in marriage. And then he continues in verse 40 uh, and 41 with something that's really interesting. He says, then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Well, this is kind of interesting what he's talking about here. Uh, what, what's he meaning by one uh, will be taken and the other left? Well, he don't leave them hanging and he don't leave us hanging. He continues in verse 42 by saying this, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. This time of the Son of Man coming, uh, Jesus uh, likens that uh, to his coming as a thief. Whenever I think about what a thief does when he comes, he comes to take something, okay? I submit to you that that one that he takes, uh, well, that's a child of, uh, of God's. Uh, that one that's left, uh, that one will be left uh, to face the time of God's judgment. As with what happened in no one lot's day, uh, uh, God has a way of escape. In Luke chapter 21, beginning in verse 34, Jesus says, Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with serpentine and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. To watch you therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape. And he's talking about an escape that is here. I think, listen, if he comes like a thief <laughs> to take us out of here, hey, he's going to be uh, taking us out. Um, we will be escaping because uh, he will be coming as a thief. In Mark chapter 13, uh, Jesus says, but, but of that day and, and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed and watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taken a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. And he says, Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest come in suddenly he find you sleeping. Interestingly, uh, compared to what others believe, Jesus is not uh, and enjoining them to uh, look for uh, the rise of the Antichrist. He's not talking to them about looking for uh, when the uh, uh, time of Daniel's 70th week may have begun. Uh, he's talking to them about watching for him. And so we need to watch for Jesus to come. Most of the scholars, uh, they don't believe that Jesus all of it discourse was spoken uh, to Christians. Uh, they, they believe that this was for the Jews, for the Israelites, but what Jesus is saying in verse 34, where he says, For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey. Now this would connect with uh, Jesus after his resurrection, whenever he ascended. And then he says, who, get, who, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. His servants here, well, well that wouldn't be the Orthodox Jew. The Orthodox Jews are not servants of the Lord. Uh, this would be uh, uh, Christians. And he says unto every man his work. Well, this work that he's talking about, what is that? Well, whenever I think of that, I think of the Great Commission, what we call the Great Commission, uh, that we uh, have uh, a record of Jesus saying in Matthew 28, where he tells his disciples to go into all the world and to teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, uh, teaching uh, them to uh, observe all things whatsoever that he had commanded them. And so, again, Jesus is 
uh, telling his disciples to, to watch for him and, and uh, Mark's account of Jesus, all of it, the course ends with these words in verse 37. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Now, Paul also talks about uh, this escape that Jesus is talking about. He says in verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be called up together with them in the clouds. I believe that's whenever the, Jesus is going to come as a thief uh, to take us out of this world. And uh, Paul says, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, I know for me, it's a comforting thing to think that because I'm a child of God, uh, he is going to spare me from his time of judgment. Uh, Paul says later in chapter 5, verse 9, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, or to the time of his judgment, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, back in the, uh, back and back up to, to chapter five, verse one, and and now uh, we could continue from chapter four, verse eighteen, and just read the next verse because these chapter divisions weren't there in the original, and the verses weren't there in the original, the verse numbers. But uh, Paul tells them, he says, "But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you." For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, uh, as travail upon a woman with child. And notice what Paul says, and they shall not escape. 